So while we are waiting for that release for the Jordan 1 uh, Low OG, which will come in that grey and uh, black colorway, meanwhile we are getting some uh, general releases, which uh, it seems that will bring some slightly better materials at least comparing with the normal ones. So in today's video we're gonna have a look at a color which for sure at least for me is looking quite interesting. Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it to really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. In today's video guys we're going to have a look at a pair of Air Jordan 1 Low but this one will be a general release. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in one of the regular boxes in this matte black colorway which will have the big uh, wings logo here in the corner in this uh, glossy color but this is something usual for most of these releases so let's go ahead and take them out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at a very nice color combination for the Air Jordan 1 Low in this uh, white and industrial blue colorway Though I'm not a big fan of these uh, general releases for this range, which will be mainly because we're gonna have this uh, extended color section, which for sure bothers my ankle a lot. It seems that uh, every now and then uh, they are actually releasing some slightly better uh, versions, and I'm not entirely sure if this uh, will actually be one of it, or from now on we are gonna receive some slightly better materials for these general releases. Nevertheless guys, uh, one of these latest uh, drops uh, will come in this uh, white and industrial blue colorway, which uh, dropped uh, at least uh, here in the UK somewhere uh, towards uh, the start of uh, April for the retail price of £130, which will be around $140. US dollars. But as I said earlier, this uh, ankle section bothers me a lot, so for me these general releases are a no uh, from the start. And to be honest, I actually do prefer more the OG releases, which will come at a slightly higher retail price. But those ones will also bring some slightly better materials and most of the times also quite nice color combinations. So as I said earlier, it seems that this one will have some slightly better materials and I'm uh, referring to this uh, industrial blue colorway, which will have uh, a very different uh, leather material, which for sure feels uh, quite soft. And I would dare to say that even these uh, white bits are slightly a bit more softer but in the same time they are still uh, feeling uh, quite uh, plasticky but nevertheless at least we are getting something better for this uh, release. So let's not waste any more time guys and also do a breakdown of this one. So as you can see for this upper we're gonna have a mix of uh, I would say uh, two materials which will come in different colorways. One of it will be this industrial blue colorway uh, for this uh, very soft leather material which uh, will be present here at the front of the tobo section. We're also gonna have it here at the ankle section and also lacing system as well. And this one will also cover the whole heel section. And as you can see, we're also gonna have it present here in the midfoot for this uh, Nike sushes. But it seems that this one uh, used here in the midfoot will actually use some slightly stiffer materials. So besides this uh, soft leather material in this industrial blue colorway, we're also gonna have this uh, white leather material, which uh, will be present here at the top of the tobo section, where we're also gonna have your normal perforation holes to give it some breathability. And this uh, leather material will also be present here in the midfoot underneath these Nike sushes. As in for the actual lacing system guys, for this one we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will keep in place these uh, flat laces and underneath these laces guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, nylon tongue which will come in this off-white color and this one will also be slightly a bit longer at least uh, comparing with the OG releases 
and this one will also have this jump band logo here at the top in this blue color going now inside of the shoe guys for this one we're gonna have this blue lining which underneath will have a decent amount of padding and also at the bottom we're gonna have this white foam insole which will also have uh, imprinted here at the heel section this uh, Jumpman logo in this blue colorway so now guys we can go to this off-white rubber midsole which will have your normal standard pattern nothing changed here this one also be stitched to the shoe as any other pairs of uh, Jordan 1 released and in case you don't already know here at the heel section we're gonna have that uh, air sole unit encapsulated which uh, for sure you need to wear it for at least a couple of times in order for this one to become slightly a bit more comfortable so now guys we can finish with this uh, grey rubber outsole which it seems that is gonna be one of the best attractions in the world which will also be used on the Nike Dunk range as well so this one will include this uh, circular design here at the front we're also gonna have this uh, Nike lettering and also the Nike swoosh here in the midfoot but as I said earlier this is something which we've been getting for all of these releases uh, from back in 1985 as in for the actual sizing guys for me as I have with skinny feet for this one I just went with my true to size and I would say that this one fits me just fine and I can also say that it's gonna be roughly the same for people with normal feet but just in case you have white feet guys most definitely i would suggest to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this one is not gonna be too tight for you so overall guys this latest release for this air jordan one low which will be a general release which for today we had it in this white and industrial blue colorway for sure it looks actually quite nice in this color combination and it seems that for this uh, new release we're gonna have some slightly better materials at least comparing with the uh, past releases where we're gonna have a very nice and soft leather material in this uh, blue color and it seems that even these white uh, panels will bring some slightly better materials but uh, don't expect too much this one still feels uh, quite uh, plasticky and stiff but for sure it seems that these uh, general releases are starting to bring some slightly better materials so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of one of these latest releases coming for this uh, jordan one low which for today we had it in this white and industrial blue colorway i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching